This is Thames from London. And from Paris, Nick Owen introduces a special programme to mark the finale of the World Championships in ice skating at five past one, right after the news. The news from ITM. Extra security causes Easter chaos at airports. Travellers are facing long delays as airports step up security. It follows warnings of a possible hijacking of an American jet somewhere in Europe this weekend. A temporary fault on the West Drayton Air Traffic Control computer this morning added to the problem. The worst delays were at Birmingham, where some passengers were held up for four hours. At Manchester, there were three-hour delays. At Heathrow, hour-long hold-ups. And at Gatwick, two-hour delays on some flights. Holidaymakers hoping to get away from it all for Easter had been warned that delays were likely. At Gatwick, 30,000 people were booked to travel on more than 300 flights. But after warnings that terrorists might try to hijack an American jet in Europe this weekend, American airlines like TWA and Pan Am drafted in extra security staff to cope with the problem. And passengers on their flights were facing a double check before getting on board their planes. A temporary fault at West Drayton increased the problem this morning so that all passengers faced long delays. But officials at Gatwick say things are likely to return to normal this afternoon. Most passengers were happy to put up with the increased vigilance. Only a bit earlier, mm. half an hour earlier than we would. Mm. And uh, was that a good insurance policy for you, was it? I think so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everything there... seems quite well organised. Eh? Mm. Has there been a delay on this flight at all? No, not at the moment. Yeah. And what security uh, procedures have you gone through so far? Well, we've only had the luggage checked superficially and the hand luggage is still to be checked. And have you left at home any cassette recorders or...? Yes, my daughter's left her Walkman and things at home. So you just decided it wasn't worth uh, the mm -hmm. trouble bringing that yeah. through? It's really good. I, I like the way they stiffen up because, you know, you can't... You have to be really careful nowadays and I feel that's, you know, it's really important. Clean are doing and they're doing a really good job. I'm really impressed. Thank you. OK, thanks. Provincial airports were also hit by delays. At Manchester Airport, holidaymakers on their way to Tenerife have been waiting up to three and a quarter hours because of congestion over Spanish airspace. A drug-crazed gunman has left a trail of death and mayhem after going on the rampage in Colorado. He killed two women, raped a third, wounded a teenage hostage and two policemen before taking his own life with his submachine pistol. Terrified residents of the southern Denver suburb of Littleton fled in panic as the gunman ran amok. Armed police cornered him in this house. Two officers were wounded as they burst in to arrest him. They were taken away by ambulance to hospital. The teenage hostage shot by the gunman was dragged away from the house. 17-year-old Jake Harper is in a critical condition with multiple gunshot wounds. The killer shot himself in the head and was confirmed dead at hospital. He was identified as Eugene Thompson, who was on parole from a drug rehabilitation program. Police later displayed the murder weapon, a semi-automatic submachine pistol, sold over the counter. 27 of its 32 bullets had been fired. Two top nuclear scientists say they've made a discovery that could lead to the production of unlimited supplies of cheap, clean energy. They claim to have found a way to create nuclear fusion at room temperature instead of the extremely hot conditions previously thought necessary. At the moment, nuclear power stations like Dune Ray produce energy by splitting atoms, nuclear fission. But this breakthrough could mean they'll be able to bring atoms together instead, nuclear fusion, which has massive benefits for the environment. Traditional coal-fired power stations pump carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, contributing to the greenhouse effect. If nuclear fusion provided most of our energy, this pollution could be a thing of the past. And if it proves feasible, there'd be no more nuclear dumps like this one in Sweden. Nuclear fusion doesn't leave the same harmful byproducts associated with current nuclear production. The extraordinary thing about the experiment is that it was literally done on the kitchen table with virtually no financial support. To me, the most important uh, asset of such a, of fusion energy is, of course, the elimination of, uh, of uh, pollution. The scientists will publish full details of how they did it next month, but already Western agencies have started testing the feasibility of the process. Finally, ITN's Channel 4 News has won another prestigious award. The Broadcasting Press Guild voted it the best news or current affairs programme. On Sunday, Channel 4 News won the BAFTA News and Outside Broadcast Award. And that's all from us for the moment. We're back again at 5.40.
it's a typical Easter with unsettled weather, some sun, some showers and plenty of cloud. It's also going to be very windy, so hold on to your Easter bonnets. Those highest winds are going to be in Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland and Northern England, where there could be gusts up to about 70 miles an hour. So if you're driving, particularly on those motorways, watch out for crosswinds. Everywhere else, gale force winds could be a threat and uh, winds averaging out at about 30 miles an hour. But on with this afternoon. Well, along the south coast, we've got some pretty miserable weather. It's going to be very cloudy, quite a lot of drizzle and showers. But north of the south, north of a line really from the Bristol Channel right across the Thames area, there's going to be a mixture of sunshine and showers. The heaviest showers are going to be down the western side of Scotland and Northern Ireland, falling as wintry showers up in the far north of Scotland. There was quite a lot of rain around this morning in the Norwich area, but that brighter weather pushed in this morning from the northwest, first of all, towards Manchester. Well, well, tonight it's going to be quite clear in many parts of the country away from the south that is once again quite a lot of cloud down here in the south the odd shower too but uh, the winds are going to drop in the south so that will mean no frosts there are going to be quite a few frosts around up in the north and central areas where there could be a few icy patches as well once again tonight wintry showers up, up in Scotland also down the western side of Scotland and Northern Ireland and those winds are still going to be quite strong up in the north as well now tomorrow the good news is it's going to be a brighter and drier day it's much milder too it's going to feel even warmer than it is because those winds are dying down quite a bit tomorrow first of all tomorrow a nice dry and bright start almost everywhere a few showers pushing in from the northwest but tomorrow afternoon there will be rain moving up from the southwest so that by tomorrow night everywhere south of a line from the Liverpool Bay down to London will have had some rain I'll be back later here's the summary Thames for Easter Monday Entertainment. At 3.15, Captain Kirk's at the helm of Star Trek, the motion picture. An alien object of unbelievable destructive power is less than three days away from this planet. At 7, the Krypton Factor Champion of Champions, the ultimate test of mind and muscle to find the country's superperson. At 8, he's back, James Bond in The Man with the Golden Gun. What the hell is going on? Drama at 10.30 in Comeback. Who's the best with me? It's a natural reaction. And with Home and Away at 6.15 and Goals of the Day at 6.45, break open an Easter Monday full of action and adventure on Thames. <laughs> Now on Thames, ice skating, the World Championship Gala, introduced by Nick Owen. 